I want to talk about dogs for a second here. You've seen a lot of media attention as far as whether dogs can, can control bed bugs. Um, and, and it, was, it even got the attention of Doonesbury last November. And bed bugs are um, just like anything else. They're going to have a unique scent to them. So somebody said, well, we have termite detecting dogs. Maybe we ought to take a look at bed bug detecting dogs. That would be kind of fun. And so some people started training bed bug detecting dogs. The University of Florida did a study on it. And they found out that they could detect um, bed bugs or viable, meaning live eggs, in, in a hotel room. And that was pretty amazing. And they didn't false positive more than 2% of the time. But they only tested a few dogs in a few rooms. So more work is necessary on it, but there are a lot of folks out there with canines. I know our company does have some canines spread throughout the country, but not everywhere. Uh, other companies have them in various regions. I'd say the, the, probably the most uh, concentrated area or availability of canine, uh, uh, that are canines that are used for bed bug detection would have to be in the uh, um, New York metro area. There, there are a lot of uh, dogs out there. And one of the problems you have with tenants when you say you're going to run a dog through the apartment to take a look at bed bugs is that some of them are afraid that the dogs will pick up other things, like other chemical substances that are not supposed to be in the apartment. Okay? Bed bug detecting dogs are trained for one thing only, pick up bed bugs. Okay? They're not going to be able to pick up anything else. They're not going to be able to sniff out um, anything else that you that might be contraband. So is that good or bad? I don't know. That's from, from, your, from your viewpoint, that's your choice. But the bottom line is this. If you hire a canine team to do a sweep through an apartment or do a sweep through just one particular unit, they will not be able to pick up anything other than bed bugs. And I think that's really important to, um, to note. Right now, there are probably about 250 teams that are certified through NESDECA. Um, that's the National Entomological Scent Detection Canine Association, bug detecting dogs. And, and so they, most of them are bed bug detecting teams and a few termite detecting teams. So you can check that out. There are a few other organizations that are credit, but NESDECA is without a doubt the most common and the most uh, most used right now. Other, other groups have two or three or five teams. NESDECA has about 250, pushing 300 right now. So they can detect live bed bugs, but they can't distinguish between bed bugs and the eggs. So they can't have, they don't raise one paw if it's a live bed bug, another paw if it's the eggs, okay? So they'll just tell you. And, and what you need to do is, is when, you, when you have dogs going through and they do alert, it doesn't mean that there are bed bugs there. It means they alerted. So it's really important that you do an inspection and you try to confirm that the bed bug detecting dog did in fact find bed bugs because it could be something else. They could have made a mistake. They could have had a bad day. You know, they say 98% effective. I think everybody that's using them in the field would say it's, it's a bit less than that. So just because they detect does not mean that there are bed bugs in that room. All right. So I think it's really important from your bottom line. Because you don't want to have a situation where just you know they detect it and therefore okay I have to have the whole building treated now. That's not necessarily the case, and that's that moral dilemma I'm talking about here. You know if you have a, a bed bug detecting dog that alerts, you know now what? You have to inspect. So and they, so they have to be verified without a doubt.